You mean kind of like the few emails I got when I had the touchpad? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so getting back onto stuff. Okay, a nine-year-old gets a flash mob. Let's move on. <laughs> For a cardboard arcade. Exactly. Now, now let's move on. <laughs> that's, I don't know what else to say on that. Yeah, I don't know on that one. It's, what he's on, it's the wireless providers are going to start creating a database so they can disable stolen phones. I'm like, I, I, I don't, I don't know about that, because it's basically it's a way to track the custody of all the phones changing hands and everything else, and uh, I want to know if they're gonna. The only two companies that can do that now with the way their systems are implemented are the CDMA guys, anyway. Yeah, well. Yeah, well, the, and the GSM people are going to start doing that now, too. They're going to start basically hardwiring everything to the actual phone devices. Which, yeah, which means they'll know when you change your SIM cards. They'll know all this stuff, and, you know, basically the phone will refuse to do anything uh, 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 if at any point it's reported suspect. So, yeah. This is being sold as a value-added service, but... I just can't, I can't help but be a cynic and look at this as yet one more way to lock down cell phones, so you are just screwed. <laughs> you know, I, I, I came up with, I, I looked at these few business models and I came up with this philosophy. If it can't be made by a competitor that makes stuff out of the garage, it's going to be a pain in the ass to use. <laughs> well, that's everything today, you know? <laughs> Name me, uh, name me. Unless you're running a Linux system, that's about the only one that's not a pain in the ass. Like Google, Google was started you by some kid in the garage. No, Google was started by some by two kids in a university. Well, whatever, basically the same thing. No, no, no. Let's be honest. There's the university startups, which is. Hi, mommy and daddy, and 90% of the time the university startup is mommy and daddy are paying for all of my bills, so I'm using all of my free money to go have fun and do things that I couldn't otherwise afford to do if mommy and daddy weren't paying for my bills. Garage startup, on the other hand, is, hi, I, I am, I, uh, unless it's mommy and daddy's garage, it's, yes, it's, it's my garage, I'm signing, and I am working a job I hate to pay for stuff I love. <laughs> In, in the hopes that someday I can actually get paid to do what I love. A very different thing. <laughs> Both rely heavily on angel investors, but they're very different things. <laughs> and I don't mean to belittle people who can get mommy and daddy to pay for them to start a business. I mean, that's great. If you, it, 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 I'm not saying there's anything... I can't pay for my college. I think I'll probably have to pay for myself and sign for the freaking draft. Okay. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. If mommy and daddy will pay for you to start a business, don't turn them away. Say, okay, yeah, it'll be this much. Give it here. <laughs> like... uh, you have good parents. In that yeah, regard. Like, if they, like, if they don't want to like, oh, Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, it, that, that's the thing. That's why they say don't get family and business mixed up because... You know, if it's investors and it fails, it's investors. If it's family and it fails, it's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> hmm. You're the reason Uncle Betty can't have is living in a home. Are you happy with yourself? <laughs> uh, it, Dark, you missed this. The other day, Kami got off on a tangent where he decided. He should live his life by the rules of acquisition. He figured he would be prosperous if he does this. <laughs> well, in this day and age, he probably would be. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that's why he is now quoting them to us. Yeah, but if you can work for the government, then why can't work for an individual? Exactly. There you go. Ah, riskier the road. <laughs> Okay, uh, do we even care about the Facebookness? Facebook, no. Facebook, really. 
Okay. Uh, Maryland or T-Mobile stuff? Uh, Maryland is the Facebook stuff. The T-Mobile stuff is just more cell phone goodness. Oh, yeah, it was a normal spot, okay. <laughs> yeah, it, it basically Maryland has it passed a law that says employers cannot ask employees for their Facebook passwords. Has this have been done before? There have been companies that have asked. Yeah. Well, it, but it's not like you had to say no. So we need a law to protect people, to, to give people the courage to say no? I, 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 I mean, my answer would be no. But it's, I don't give passwords to anybody. <laughs> no, no, my answer would be no. My answer would be, fuck no, I'm going to work for somebody else. Yeah, it's, I, I, I'm sorry, I work in the IT industry. You get passwords to my accounts over my dead body unless you have a valid reason to have them. <laughs> exactly. It's like, and you better have a valid reason to have them. <laughs> you don't have Facebook. <laughs> they wouldn't believe me. Even though I don't, they wouldn't believe me. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Everybody has Facebook. No, no, they don't. No. I avoid like, it. Facebook account. You can show you their account and then you close it right in front of them. <laughs> uh, uh, Facebook carry. Okay, who do we want to start with? We have Apple, we have Google, we have MS, we have RIM, we have HP. No podcast today because Bet's not recording it. <laughs> I guess I could. I guess I could strip the audio out of this. <laughs> what death clock? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, well, we're now on the two-year death clock for Windows XP because it's going to die in April of 2014. And everybody's counting the days until they're forced to upgrade to Vista or 7, whether they want to or not. <laughs> well, I was going to say, Microsoft like, catches yeah, just started upgrading to Windows XP. <laughs> Well, they're only going to be on it for two years, because XP is going to die. I know that. Yes. Oh, no, Microsoft can definitely shut it off. Well, they can't shut off 2000, but they can shut off uh, XP, no problem. Yeah, I thought I said 2000. I would install Windows uh, 2000. They can't shut that off. Now, it's going to be interesting to see how the XP die happens, because it's the first time Microsoft can literally kill all the systems. Between the genuine advantage and the validate and the other stuff, they can just, over the course of... I really mean to go on the console tangents, like, Microsoft shut down, you know, the Xboxes, and I think, you know, uh, PSN, you know, the network's been shut down for the PS2. You know, like, I hate to go into the future where you buy a device and it just gets somebody pulls a kill switch and it's no longer useful. Well, and XP is the first desktop platform that they could do that with. So now when they kill a platform, they can really kill the platform. The machines just won't work anymore if they well, want to. What if that to. happens with an iPhone? You're like, one day maybe Apple might just go kill, kill, throw a kill switch and kill somebody 3GS. Like, uh, I, I could see that. Um, do we want to take bets on whether or not uh, Microsoft is going to throw the actual kill switch, or are they just going to drop support? I think they're just going to drop support. They would shoot themselves way too much in the foot if they free and went and just like, oh, all these machines don't work anymore. Yeah, but it's a way to make people go Metro, which is what they really want. Yeah, it's a way to make people go Metro. It's also a big way to piss off all your corporate users, too. Oh, uh, so wait, are you accusing Microsoft of having a common sense brain? Yes, I am. <laughs> and you really want to put your money on that. I don't put money on anything when it comes to Microsoft. <laughs> 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 and I, our resident Windows 8 fanboy is here currently. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this would be a great conversation for our Windows fanboy. <laughs> uh, it's like, well, what you don't understand is Metro is good and corporate will like it. IT departments will like 
they will uh, like the features. The point of when the computer's monitor is the input device. I know. No I know. Doesn't that make it sound like you're more like Venice if you talk about bubblegum? Oh, yes, yes. You see, XP is very much the bubblegum. And, and it, it's important to, to it, see, Microsoft has to pop the bubblegum. Because that's what you do to bubblegum. You pop it. <laughs> Metro's bubblegum. <laughs> Exactly, and XP does nothing. It's for amusement. It's it's nostalgic. It's retro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But y you know, medical people—they're medical people, a and they don't know anything. Say it again, because you were getting talked over. <laughs> I, I said we'll completely disregard the Linux specific, uh, specifically built machines that are used in the medical field. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, most of the medical people are completely blissfully unaware that that is the situation because they are using Windows desktops, so they don't even they aren't aware that yeah. Oh, I can just see it now. Everybody's gonna code on XP Kill Day. <laughs> For some reason, I think XP is gonna have a lot longer shelf life than uh, Microsoft thinks. Oh uh, well, you know, I mean, to put it in perspective, there are still people using Windows ninety five and three one. I know. Uh, actually, three one is the longest running Windows product ever because Microsoft was still issuing new three one licenses until the early aughts. Why do people use Windows three one? Why don't they just use OS two or Econom Station? You can get a new license for it. It's more up to date. They needed the uh, Windows Core, but they needed a minimalistic thing, so they were basically using it as a mini me install. Oh, so basically they run it four eighty six. Yeah. Yeah, there were a lot of implementations for that. Uh, actually, it was running a lot of DOS database and cache register You're systems. It on DOS. Yes, but it's it's one of those things. Hi, we have a 15 year old computer that is sufficient for our database thing. Go into oh, any going. Exactly. It, 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 uh, you see those a lot in retail places. Yeah, exactly. I mean, they're, for crying out loud, they're running on an RJ12 network. <laughs> it's, uh, for those of you who don't know what RJ12 is, it's a phone line. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, oh no, not dial up. Just they were doing network over RJ12. We used to do that back in the day, remember? Yeah, I don't know. Instead of using RJ45 and, and CAD cables, we were using RJ12. Yeah. And we were, yeah, it, it, it basically. Somewhere around here, I have the manual for doing that type of networking, but I haven't had to do it in over a decade, and I doubt at this point I can even remember how without pulling out the manual, because it's just, yeah, you were... It's more of a question of anything you use now is how you use it now. Yeah, it, it was just, uh, I think those were actually primarily token systems, which was just, what the fuck? Uh, so... Yeah, no, man, that machine's older than I am. Yeah. So, 
So we have the Death Watch on XP, and Microsoft, of course, has taken the time to patch their critical flaw in security, which was being exploited by hackers. Darn zero day bugs. Okay. I thought that was all Microsoft products. I mean, I'm uh, sorry. Ah, uh, yeah, shh. Uh, let's be fair. Linux and Unix has its share of problems, too. Yeah, Linux is more than usual in that. It's like games, though. What? Like, years... About a year or two ago, I remember there was, like, a finally a 15-year kernel that was patched. Uh, what, in Linux? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, but that one required user interaction. That was why it was such low priority. Okay. It required the root password to be inputted by the user. Yeah. It's, it's not the job of vulnerability, but just that was on Macs where basically you went to a website and you got... Where, where you went to a website and you got malware. You know what? But OS X is completely safe. Actually, on that note, I had an article here somewhere. Uh, let's see if I still have it. There was an article I had here, and I don't think I... Uh, I don't think I have it anymore. There was um, some article that was basically saying... Um, it was, oh god, I don't even have it in the notes, so I was looking at it earlier today. Um, basically, there were the, they were blaming Apple advertising for the ignorance of Mac users. You know, stating the crap uh, along the lines of advertisements that had a diseased PC with a shiny Mac as the mindshare argument for Mac users falsely believing that they're immune to viruses. It, 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 which is part of why viruses, when they do target Mac, spread so rampantly. Yeah, there's a lot of them too. Yeah, well, it's, uh, I mean, literally, they get they get infected like wildfire because the majority of Mac users just don't, you know, they think they're immune. Mac defender. Well, I was gonna say the same thing with some Linux users. Unfortunately, I'm tending to agree with you on the Linux users these days. There's a lot of Linux users who are starting. Uh, I, I'm seeing that way too often in Linux forums where they're they're being as stupid as Mac users. Oh, we don't really need antivirus. We don't need firewalls. We don't like bull fucking I, I, shit. I was gonna say, how hard is it to down? Was it U, UFW and or uh, Firestarter and you know run Clam AV? I, I like Firestarter because it rem Firestarter reminds me a lot of the old style Zone Arms. Yeah, it's like it, bam, all your parts are locked. Yeah. Well, no, it, it's actually in some ways it's better than Zone Alarms because it's not just the individual applications, it's the individual processes of the individual applications, which is really nice. You can just... Ah, you well, you know, my, uh, I have that mentality of the Linux is like, or the Mac one, like, oh, I'm immune mentality. Well, uh, well I'm not, not that I'm immune, it's like, I don't get viruses, like, that helped me out when I did the Windows XP day. It's like, oh shit, I have a virus. Like, no, you don't. You're gonna click on that thing and get a virus. You know? You ever see those rogue antivirus phishing sites that say. Oh god, those are still free. very. Uh, those are still very prevalent, unfortunately. But I'm just saying those, like, those don't bother me because I don't even click on them. I don't click on them because I know, like, yeah. You know what my favorite one, one is? My favorite one is when I when I get one of those pop ups like that to go you're infected by a virus, and it's That's what I'm talking about. no no no. My favorite one is where the pop up or the full screen thing it pops up on my Linux box, mind you. Oh, that happened to me. Yeah yeah, and I'm like, wow, how did my Linux box turn into a Windows XP and or seven machine? Wow. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> Yeah, well, I, I love getting those, like, 
I mean, you think they would at least make a try at realizing that my user agent says I'm on a not Windows system, so maybe they... They say you're on a Linux machine, so I guess I'm just saying Ubuntu, but which Ubuntu version we're seeing. Yeah, I mean, you think it would at least make a half try. Like, I would at least go, okay, nice try if it pretended to be Ubuntu or Red Hat or, you know, you know, something... Okay. Did you ever get one of those weird Skype calls that said that? No, I don't get weird Skype calls because I tend not to give out my Skype, but that's me. <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know maybe where I got it from. I got it from people that were infected. <laughs> and then that, you know, kind of fish out the Skype pass, but it doesn't ever happen. Who knows? <laughs> okay, do we want to transition more so into Apple, or do we want to touch on a topic that would basically be more jabbing at bit? Uh, Apple would be jabbing a bit, Microsoft would be jabbing a bit, RIM would be jabbing a bit. This would really be jabbing. Okay, let, let me see. This would be jabbing a bit. Uh, this would be jabbing a bit. <laughs> um, this, I don't know if that, that would be jabbing at you, actually. <laughs> uh, so what, what do we want to go into? Sorry, but the fact that you have a CNET article is just funny. <laughs> Which one? Oh, this uh, one? Yeah. Well, I was looking for the one I was talking about, and I found that. And I'm like, oh, that's just wrong. <laughs> oh, uh, okay, we'll, we'll go Apple side. Uh, yeah, we'll save we'll the written stories and the WebOS story for a bit. Uh, uh, no, we're going to go into them, but we'll, 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 tailor in, we'll, we'll tail into it. Ah. Uh, uh, it proved that maybe, just maybe, there's hope for Mac users. <laughs> the story is six tips to make your Mac safer. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and the first one, what we've been saying for how long? Get a security suite. <laughs> your Mac is not immune. Stop roll. Okay, and I'm just gonna read what it says. Get a security suite. You can stop rolling your owls nigh. Consensus about security suite performance generally comes from the way that most security programs used to tie windows into knots. <laughs> yeah, that was important there, crap. Yeah. Dear God, I'm just saying, I don't want the mentality. Uh, uh, wait, 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 uh, call me quiet for a minute. Uh, what did you say, Bob? Is Apple really that stupid when it comes to security? Oh my god, it's a Windows XP all over again. Uh, which one? Lockdown admin privileges. The default account that you create on a Mac is an admin. Uh, well, yeah, but see, this, this comes from the, um, from the my Mac is immune mentality. A bit was complaining about that the other day. His parents, I think, was who he was talking about. They're like, no, no, no. I don't want to have to put in my admin thing. So Apple added a feature to basically defeat the multi-user security of a Unix system where it remembers your admin password so you never have to put it in. It just automatically does it. What? That's dumb. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. And basically they're saying, okay, we realize this is a... Uh, less annoying feature, but don't use it. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Well, because people people want it to work like Windows, and they don't want to have to put in their password all the time. <laughs> and, and you know what? I would apply this rule to Ubuntu too, because think about what how Ubuntu tries to remove that step. Pseudo by using pseudo instead. Yeah, I like no, no. I want an actual root user. I want to know my root. I like no, no, no. Yeah. Well, in Windows, in Windows, you can't really do anything without being the admin. I mean, it's even with Windows Seven. It. it you, um, if you want to install something, you know, like sometimes there are some. You know, like sometimes you know, like if you try to run something. No, no, a lot of software, you wind up having to run the application as admin, 
which defeats the whole purpose. What software requires admin rights? A lot of them, because of the way Windows works. Uh, I was gonna say, when it comes to Ubuntu as a user, it would be kind of nice if you could separate out your personal data from the OS on a install. That that is probably one of the most annoying features I find when it comes to Ubuntu. Yeah. Because that that makes up for like if I boink my system somehow or someone gets to my system, my partitions are still separate. So unless I've mounted my own partitions from a security point of view, I don't have to worry about it. That's true. All right, the next update Mac the next suggestion, suggestion three for securing a Mac, and I love this one. Stay on top of software updates. And the reason I love that one is because half of the exploits on Mac these days are because the latest and greatest software update is not available to a Mac. Windows and Linux has patched it, but a Mac doesn't have it. So the Mac's still vulnerable. <laughs> Well, there, uh, 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 okay, there's those updates, but they're talking about, like, um, the latest version. I know they're talking about the 10 dot whatever dot whatever service pack updates. Exactly. The security updates, the patches, the sign, and so forth. Uh, and in some cases, some Apple users are lax about this. Um, this is also something I recommend for Linux users, actually. Because there's... Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, it, it, um, Windows users too. <laughs> well, um, the latest versions of Windows will basically annoy you to death if you don't upgrade. So uh, you have to go. Th yeah, you you have to go through a conscious effort to disable that on a Windows system. Some Linux distros do it automatically. Others you have to check. Um, there's pros and cons to the various ways of doing it. It's uh, and honestly, I don't. I prefer the way um, uh, some of the Linux distros I use, and it's not where it's it. I have a choice in whether I upgrade this exact second because I'm in the middle of something and I don't want to do it right now. But you do need to. Yeah, but you do need to do it regularly. It's like you need to justify the delay for. Hold on, let me finish this, then I'll fuck with you. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, when, when, we, um, you, wait, wait. You, you, you sleep? <laughs> Sleep's overrated. Exactly. Daywalkers. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, Bob, do you want to start on this next one? What are we looking at? The one after stay on top of software updates. Well, those are different ones. The, like the next one, it, uh, like it, we've all left. Yeah. Where the flash it. Yeah. Well, it says ditch Adobe. This has nothing to do with Flash. This says ditch Adobe Reader if you can. I know what they're talking about. Hell, even Firefox is building in a PDF reader that isn't Adobe's because of all the security exploits. Well, no, no, that, that's what they're saying. They're saying don't use Adobe's reader because there's all these exploits that get built into PDFs to backdoor through Adobe's reader. Uh, oh, that you have JavaScript enabled, though. Yeah, I, I, I know, but it, it's. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're basically recommending what y'all are saying. Go into, uh, but why risk it? Go into a different PDF reader or task on their own or so on and so forth. I was gonna, I was gonna say, okay, if you're a Linux user and you're using Adobe Reader, what the hell is wrong with you? Well, is, Adobe, is Adobe Reader for Linux? There is, but uh, I haven't used it. I, I just use the open reader that... Uh, yeah, I use it too, but like, who the hell uses that on Linux? But, but no, I use it. Nobody really uses Linux. 
Uh, okay, this next one, you can tell this is written by pro Apple people. Like you said, get rid of Java and Flash too. <laughs> um, sorry, I use Java applications on the desktop. Well, oh, 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 um, and that it, no no this is a real this has become a major major problem on Macs in the last few years. Java is habitually out of date on Macs, which means there's known exploits, vulnerabilities that completely bypass the system where no password is required to install software, malware, and other things. And it's patched on Windows, patched in Linux, and Apple Macs are waiting around going. Okay, Oracle, can we please have our updates today? Please, sir, I'd like an update today. Please, sir, can I have security? Can I be as secure as a Windows system? <laughs> yeah, it's very much the case for Macs, and it has been for the last uh, few years now. Uh, it, it, it's nice. gotten bad. It, 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 it's gotten to the point where Macs basically, if they want to be secure, have to just ditch Java, which creates a big problem for Macs. Well, can't you just install the Java from, like, uh, an Oracle website instead? No! The latest version compiled for the OS X platform is not patched. It's not as up-to-date as... I thought you talked about the one that goes in the uh, Apple update, so... No, it, it, well, Apple doesn't handle it independently anymore, which means oh, the late... No, no, that's the thing. The latest version available for OS X usually comes with one to five exploits that have been patched on other platforms. Which means hackers know, oh, well, this doesn't work, but this is definitely a way to infect Apple users who think they're immune anyways! Developers could compile using the same stuff, using the same source code and things that are available to Linux, and they could compile it for OS X, but average Mac users are just SOL and sitting there waiting for six to ten months to get patched. For Linux and BSD, not OS X. But they're the out of date version. Okay. Kami, put the links to that so we can put it in the show notes so Mac users can. I know you can get it for Emacs, though. There are SVM builds. Oh, okay, but that requires you to build that yourself. No, SVM builds, it means they're pre built. Okay. Anyways, no, it has become a big problem on things. So that's their other thing. Uh, I can't decide on the Flash one. Because Flash has just as many vulnerabilities, but Flash is also pretty good about being secure. So. Yeah, it's not ubiquitous, too. Yeah. So... Okay, the other one, take control of your password is their last one. Oh, that's one of the better ones. Yeah, that's one I think we can all agree with. Yeah, yeah. As often as possible, use strong password. This means random, multi-word passwords separated by spaces, yada yada, so on and so forth. Yeah. Computer, establish a security code for access to all functions previously transferred to bridge. Enter code. 
1734673214776436 Tango 732 Victor 731176 Charlie 32789777643 Tango 732 Victor 731172146 Charlie 32789777643 Tango 732 Victor 731178888888888 732-476-7896-4376. Lock. Security code intact for all specified inquiries and orders. <laughs> it's all binary. <laughs> no, no. Do you remember like where he got possessed or whatever and he just started, he was pretending to be John Luke and he was just going blah, 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 blah. Okay, getting back on topic. Okay, so that's it for Appledom. Uh, 